Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and welcome to the Winner Day Start Fast, Finish Strong Challenge, where our mission is to inspire, to promote, and to celebrate excellence. In creating the Winner Day Challenge, it was my intention to develop the world's best strategy and execution framework for driving radical results fast. It was my great desire to design a program based on timeless, proven principles of human performance, and which could be applied by anyone, anywhere, in order to achieve any goal that they desire. When faithfully applied, the strategies and beliefs baked into the one day challenge will provide you with immediate and profound results. So I'll begin by sharing my five core beliefs and explaining exactly why the program works. So I believe that you have no legal or moral obligation, or for that matter, any logical reason to settle for small, marginal, or incremental growth. I believe that you have the ability to multiply your performance quickly and to achieve goals on a scale that in the past seemed impossible. I believe that it is your right and your responsibility to unleash your greatness and to enforce your will over any obstacle or resistance force. I also believe that the single best strategy for achieving your goals with speed and precision is to play a strong, relentless offense. And I also believe that in order for you to create a performance explosion, that you'll need to give up a few things to include false assumptions about how fast you can change your life, self-limiting beliefs that undermine your progress, and the comfort zone that holds you back from unleashing your greatness. It's my intention to transfer these beliefs to you and to infuse you with the idea that the best days of your life are about to unfold. As to why the program works, the Water Day Challenge is based on the twin pillars of cause and effect and compound effort. Together, these foundational, bedrock principles conspire to dramatically increase both the size and the pace of your overall results. You see, accelerating the relationship between cause and effect is what drives the speed of your results. The faster the cause, the faster the effect. And that is precisely why each and every day must be viewed as an ongoing series of opportunities to accelerate your performance. Extreme results will only come from extreme execution skills. And that's why you want to bookend your days with fast starts and strong finishes. The size of your performance gains, on the other hand, are the direct result of your compounded daily efforts. Implementing the right offensive strategies, the right way and for the right reasons, each and every day will compound and snowball in size. The principle of compounded effort delivers an ongoing series of explosive jumps, controlled explosions in your personal performance that puts you far beyond the next logical step. You might want to compare it to multiplication instead of addition. It means a geometric and, if performed consistently, a perpetual, mind-blowing progression in your overall results. True, there are limits, but you do not need to worry about them, as your real limits are far beyond your artificial boundaries. The real limits won't box you in, but the false ones, the ones you're carrying around in your mind, are a self-imposed prison. Now you may be quite skeptical right now, but let's be honest. If merely doing what you do best were enough to produce a series of performance explosions, you would already be making them regularly. Now that you understand the bedrock principles of the one or day challenge and why they work, let's turn our attention to my goal setting methodology. I have a romantic relationship with goals and the process of goal setting. I believe that a goal achieved with honor is a glorious celebration of all that is good and virtuous about the human condition. Now, before you think I've been off sniffing glue, allow me to explain where I'm coming from as I believe that your ability to achieve a goal is largely character-based, and I'd like to use the next minute or two to explain why. See, the entire process begins by asking a few questions. The first, what is the difference between setting and achieving a goal. And the second, what unique disciplines are required to set versus actually achieving it? The fact is, setting a goal requires two disciplines, only two, decisiveness and the identification of motive. Another way of saying it is that you must identify what you want and why you want it. And that's where the problem starts. In a world filled with virtually unlimited options, Far too many people simply do not know what they want. And even if they do, they immediately run into the next obstacle, which is not having a strong enough reason why. They simply lack the required motivation in order to get started, much less to keep the fire burning. 
So every goal poses a simple question. How badly do you want it? Your why provides the heat, the energy, and the psychological mojo you need in order to start. The strength, the will, and the fortitude to overcome obstacles and setbacks, as well as the sustaining power to stay hungry and to see it through to the end. It's impossible to imagine you can achieve anything of significance without some seriously strong motivation, without an intense why that points the way. And just in case you doubt the validity of that statement, just try making a phone call with no juice in your phone or attempt to drive to work with a dead battery. Whether your goals for the 100 day challenge have to do with increasing your income, decreasing your debt, writing a manuscript, improving your health, learning a language, or even raising healthy, self-confident children. Your passionate why, that white hot flame burning in your belly, is the only thing that will get you started and keep you committed to success. The more passionate desire, the more emotionally committed you are, the faster will be your results. As intense passion is the ignition switch, it's the emotional trigger for unleashing the performance explosion that you are looking for. Now, before we focus on what it takes to actually achieve a goal, let's pause for just a moment and talk about you, about your goals, on what it is you want to achieve. You signed up for the 100 day challenge to learn how to fast track your goals. And I want to assure you that I can't help you to quickly achieve anything that you want to be, have or do. However, it is your responsibility to decide what you want and why you want it. And just to confirm, during this orientation, during this onboarding process, you need to identify the one to three goals that you absolutely, positively must achieve or that you want to make a huge dent in within the next 100 days. And then you must get emotionally engaged by identifying why you want them. The anatomy of a goal consists of three interdependent, interconnected, and fluidly contingent parts. They are the what, the why, and the how, or if you prefer, the head, the heart, and the hand. We have addressed the first two parts which focus on the setting of the goal. Now we'll focus on the goal achievement part. That is the how, which is an entirely different beast, which requires an entirely different set of skills. See, the single best strategy for creating radical results fast is to consistently deploy a strong, smart, relentless offense. Why is that? Because a consistently strong, smart, relentless offense is one that extols that advocates and champions every best practice and noble virtue known to mankind. This means the ongoing enforcement of commitment, focus, discipline, boldness, speed, perseverance, willpower, and integrity to name just a few of the many attributes of successful execution. Now, while this may seem like common sense, I assure you that it's not common practice, as perhaps the greatest conflict of interest in people's lives the Great Wall of China from a performance standpoint lies in the gap between knowing and doing. The fact is knowing what you need to do in order to achieve your goals is no guarantee that you will actually do it. Just look at your own behavior for the incriminating evidence you need. Knowing is not enough. It never has, nor will it ever be enough. And I assure you that if it was, that everybody would be skinny, happy, and rich. Confucius was absolutely right when he said over 2,000 years ago, to know and not to do is still not to know. And that's why perhaps the greatest challenge you'll ever face in your lifetime is to close the gap between knowing and doing. And the faster you do it, the more deliberate your intent, the sooner that you capture the prize. And showing you how to close that gap quickly is the reason why I created the 100 day challenge. Earlier I said that a goal achieved with honor is a glorious celebration of all that is good and virtuous about the human condition, and that your ability to achieve your goals is largely character-based. Well, if you reflect on the skill sets and the best practices just mentioned, I think you'll come to the same exact understanding. And when it comes to achieving your goals, there's always going to be a demand place for commitment, for sacrifice, for discipline and focus, along with a number of other performance demands. And your ability to rise up and to supply the required behaviors and character traits needed in order to meet that demand is what the how, or should I say the goal achievement process, is all about. If you look at successful people in any field, you'll find that they're not necessarily the brightest, the best looking, the fastest, nor the strongest of the bunch. But what you will find is that they understand that all great accomplishment is preceded by great execution skills. 
ones that demonstrate to the world the strength of their character and their commitment. They know that the pain and the discomfort that they feel because of today's demands and sacrifices will be the strength and success that they will feel in supply again tomorrow. They long ago accepted the reality that if they're not actively improving their game, if they're not strengthening their resolve and improving how they execute, that there will be someone out there, someone with equal ability who is. See, the primary reason why goals are not achieved and why the knowing and doing gap exists can be directly tied to character deficiencies and compromised belief systems. When people do not believe in themselves nor in their ability to actually achieve a goal, they will express that disbelief in self-destructive behavior to include procrastination, excuse making, responsibility dodging, and other forms of mental and physical resistance. These unforced errors in thinking and behaving undermine progress and they negatively impact the entire goal achievement process. Now that we have discussed the anatomy of a goal and the difference between setting and achieving a goal, let's turn our attention to what you can do to positively impact the goal achievement process. See, the work I do for a living, I'm always testing ideas, assumptions, and strategies, always looking for ways to leverage time, to be more productive, and to fast track my results. And one of my favorite strategies is to focus on what I call models of perfection. I look for or work to develop systems that can be flawlessly executed and which deliver consistently successful outcomes. And when it comes to goal setting, I believe that the best system in the world that anyone, anywhere can model can be found in your kitchen. So your cookbook contains a series of recipes, each consisting of a set of instructions, a detailed map as to how to create a particular meal. And whether you choose to call it a formula, a prescription, a map, or simply directions, a recipe is the perfect goal setting metaphor. Why is that? Because once validated and documented, a recipe is a flawlessly repeatable process that delivers a flawlessly repeatable result. Study a recipe, any recipe for that matter, and you'll see that it contains five unique attributes, the exact same attributes needed for the successful achievement of any goal. In order, they are, number one, a beautiful, high-quality picture that visually represents the end result that you're working towards. See, the purpose of the picture is to stimulate the senses and to show you exactly what success looks like in advance. It's a future picture of the outcome that you desire. And when it comes to rapid goal achievement, you need an equally beautiful, high-quality picture of the future. This eye candy is the coming attraction of your life and it will serve to motivate, to inspire, and to drive you to take the actions needed in order to achieve success. The second attribute in any recipe is a precise set of instructions needed in order to successfully create the desired results. So the list of ingredients in every recipe are never left to chance or interpretation. Each is explicitly documented. And the same principle applies to you and your goals, as vagueness and ambiguity have no place in the goal achievement process. You must be precise, as your objective is to send a message to your brain that you mean business and identifying the bullseye is the way that that message gets delivered. We live in a world that demands precise instructions, and in return, it provides us with a flawlessly repeatable result. And you'll find proof of that statement every time you go to get money out of your ATM, whenever you dial a phone number, and each and every time that you send an email. And if you're serious about fast-tracking your goals, and state them precisely as well as a deadline, as your mind operates best, with exact instructions. This is a rule without an exception. And the third attribute built into each recipe is a sequence of steps by which each ingredient needs to be executed, which in turn leads to a delicious end. Study any recipe and you'll see a common pattern, a step-by-step -step plan to follow that clearly demonstrates a beginning, a middle, and an end. Each step is important, each one counts, and if you monkey with the sequence in any way, you will not get the flawlessly repeatable result that you're after. So why is sequencing so important in the goal achievement process? Well, the answer is quite simple. Sequencing works, and it works 100% of the time. See, achieving a goal is like opening a combination lock. You need the precise numbers and the precise right, left, right sequence. If you have the numbers but not the sequence, you're left with trial and error. Nothing more than guesswork and luck. Certainly not flawless execution. Now, using the examples provided just a moment ago, 
let's look at them through the lens of sequencing. So getting money from an ATM requires precise numbers and a precise sequence. If you have the numbers, but not the sequence, you're out of luck. The same principle applies for dialing any phone number or for sending a simple email. Without the correct sequence of numbers, digits, or steps, you'll find yourself frustrated and wasting a heck of a lot of time. Every system and every goal or plan can and must be put into a series of precise, sequential steps. By doing so, you'll have developed a flawlessly repeatable process that delivers a flawlessly repeatable result. The fourth attribute built into every recipe is a precise measurement of each ingredient, as proper measuring is a mandatory requirement for cooking up a consistently delicious meal. Food can be greatly affected by too much or too little of certain ingredients, such as salt, sugar, butter, baking soda, and even hot or spicy ingredients to name just a few. Therefore, care and attention must be given to the proper measurement of all ingredients, all the time. And when it comes to accelerating your performance and your overall results throughout the 100 day challenge, you must be mindful that performance that gets measured gets improved and performance that gets measured consistently, improves consistently. So in its purest form, keeping score and measuring your performance is a behavior modification system, which allows you to inspect your performance or actual results over a predetermined amount of time. And when measuring your performance, you'll always find yourself in one of three positions. You'll be winning, which means you'll be ahead of predetermined goals and milestones. You'll be losing, you'll be behind predetermined goals and milestones, or You'll be right on target, you'll be tied with your predetermined goals and milestones. So you must know how you're performing the must-do actions necessary in order to achieve your goals. And keeping score and inspecting your performance is the only discipline which will allow you to do just that. In life, we get what we inspect, what we measure, not just what we expect. And knowing the score as often as possible is the key to improving performance and productivity. And it's for this reason why built into the 100 day challenge is an after action review process, which takes place every seven days like clockwork. At the end of each week for all 14 weeks, you'll be going through a detailed review and measurement process to ensure that the goals you set are indeed the goals that you get. Now this might be a good place to issue a warning as the cold, hard, figure in the eye truth is this. If you're not keeping score, if you're not consistently measuring your performance, your competitive roadkill. You're going to get beat, you're going to underperform, and you're going to waste a lot of precious time. See, we live in a world that measures just about everything, to include a scale for measuring weight, a clock for time, radar gun for speeding, report cards for academic competency, and even a thermometer for measuring temperature. And in return, those measurements lead the way to improved performance, to greater discipline, and superior results. Now the fifth and final attribute common to both a recipe as well as any goal is the proper use of time. See, the purpose of following a recipe's cooking time and temperature is to enjoy a perfectly cooked meal every time. When cooking time is not followed, the end result will be an undercooked or an overcooked meal. Likewise, when attempting to achieve a goal, you must use time wisely. And the wisest decision you can make is to enforce deadlines on every single activity. So why are deadlines so important in the goal achievement process? Because any task or goal will take as much time as you allow for it to take. And when you set a firm deadline, and when you don't allow much time in order to get the results that you expect, well, surprise, surprise, it will not take much time for you to fast track any result that you desire. See, how you treat deadlines speak volumes about you, about your belief system, your reputation, your results, and your future. And a huge factor resulting in underperformance has to do with missed deadlines, with deadlines that were never set, along with the non-enforcement of stiff, behavior-changing consequences. And if you're guilty of missing deadlines or of not taking them seriously, well, it's time to lay down the law and to implement some tough love on your behavior. A deadline is the ultimate form of inspiration. It's a time commitment by which your tasks, your goals, and projects must be achieved. And they present themselves in two forms, internally, and externally enforced. Allow me to explain. Externally enforced deadlines are the ones we pay most attention to. They're represented by credit card companies, by student loan providers, mortgage lenders, banks for car payments, and 
a large sphere of outside external parties. Miss a payment deadline or two and they'll implement some swift justice. As a result, many of us have a tendency to loathe yet honor externally enforced deadlines. Internally enforced deadlines, on the other hand, are the ones that you impose upon yourself. These have to do with your hopes, with your dreams and your goals, the things that you want to be, have, and do. Look closely and you'll see the critical distinction between the two. Most, if not all, of your external commitments and obligations incorporate inflexible deadlines and real consequences. Yet, when it comes to your own life, the only deadlines and consequences are the ones that are self-imposed, and that is where the train begins to come off the rails. See, it's non-negotiable. You will always work best under a self-determined or externally fixed deadline for achieving your goals, and that's worth repeating. You will always work best under a self-determined or externally fixed deadline for achieving your goals. And by consciously choosing to enforce deadlines and accountability into each action and goal, you'll immediately begin to compress time and fast track your results. The net effect of enforcing deadlines is they challenge you to perform, to step up your game, to honor your commitments and to deliver. See, the purpose of setting a goal is to achieve it. And the purpose of the one or a day challenge is to show you how to achieve it faster than you ever imagined possible. So what do you say we put the ideas that we just discussed to good use by identifying the one to three goals that you absolutely positively must achieve or make a huge dent in within the next 100 days. I want you to use the forms in the orientation to get the job done and be sure to set each of those goals in specific, measurable and deadline driven language. As to what happens next, well over the course of the next 100 days, I'm going to provide you with an actionable strategy of what you must do to accelerate the pace and to compound the size of your results. I want you to view each lesson as your relentless, massive action plan for getting more accomplished in the next 100 days than most people do over the course of 10 years. And in the same way that you would follow a recipe to enjoy a perfectly cooked meal, I urge you to follow and to implement the lesson plans as presented to you, and you'll be amazed at the way you wind up 100 days from today. So let's get after it.